Hey guys, what's up? It's Willie B bringing you the latest update of Player Emotes Pro. Uh, I just finished 2.0, Player Emotes Pro 2.0. Uh, it took me since last December to do it, so you know, eight almost nine months now. Uh, but it is done. 1.9 was going to be custom commands. With the emotes now, you don't have to do slash emote and then the name of the emote anymore. So you just type in slash and then whatever the emote name is, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I'll show you that right now actually. So slash applaud. And boom, it just works. Slash applaud. And that wasn't that's not one of the pre-built emotes because there's no such thing as pre-built emotes anymore. You make your own and you make them in the GUI. So this is the new menu. We had this and this before. So this will cycle through the, the player heads, the people that are on the server, and this will just be your own head. And then this is the emote builder. So we have create, edit, and delete. Uh, we're going to hop into, I'll show you edit, it just lists all of them, uh, applaud is the one we've got right now, and delete, you can click on it and it'll delete it. Uh, but we're going to go through and create an emote. I've got one uh, that's, I guess, somewhat set up here, so we're just going to reset it, and that'll just set the, the head back and anything else that I had set up back to uh, to default. And we'll start out with, with uh, the name. So it's going to ask us what we want the name to be. Uh, and then we, do uh, we just do bow, and then that'll make it so the permission is emotes.use.bow, and the command is bow. So that'll be slash bow, and that'll be that. Because that we can go and, and set a custom permission, a custom, custom, not custom command, but we could change what the command is if we wanted to. Um, like if we had uh, like a kick emote. You wouldn't want slash kick to be for that emote because you might want to use that for kicking players off your server. So you could do like em kick. So let's do let's pretend that slash bow is actually slash bow for some kind of kit pvp command or something. So we're gonna just change it to like em bow. So m bow bow, and that'll change just the command. We'll still have uh, emotes use bow as a permission and bow as the command. Message and targeted message is the exact same as before. So it'll be player and target and it's like surrounded by the percent sign as the placeholder. Uh, and you can still do that right right just like typing it in. And that's just as simple as it always has been. So for bow, we'll do uh percent three and player uh, does a bow, whatever. And that'll be the self message. Targeted message do uh, you know clear bounds for target that was you know pretty pretty basic uh, nothing crazy in there with those uh, icon is the next thing we're gonna look at here so for icon this is gonna be what it shows up in shows up as in the GUI in the GY so we'll, we'll just use a bow we'll literally just use a bow for this one because why not uh, and that's our icon. Uh, for action bar, this can be on or off, and you just click on it to toggle it. Particle. So the type, uh, and there's a link there. Uh, so we'll just do redstone. And if you put something in there that isn't correct particle effect, it'll just keep sending you like back to do it again. So uh, yeah, you know it has to be something that, that works. So we'll use redstone for the style. I like the wave. Uh, so I'm going to use that as the, as the style and the color, uh, we'll go with orange. And you'll see that the color, it puts it in as the RGB, uh, and that's because you can actually just put in the RGB value that you want. So if you wanted it to be, we'll just use the example that's there, so 120, 0. So uh, now the color will be whatever that one is. Now that color, wave, and redstone is all in there. Sound effect, uh, again there's a link for it. but. Uh, Happen to have memorized ambient cave because it's alphabetically the first one that shows up, I think. So for hologram, obviously you just you know put in whatever you want the hologram to be. So just do that. So it'll just be bows and red. Uh, face. This is my favorite menu. This is one of the hardest things I had to do for this update, and I'm super happy it worked out. So we have all of these different faces. You can see them. You can see the names of them. Everything, uh, and even in the next menu where we have animated ones, they'll actually animate in the GUI. So we see them animating. 
I think I think it's pretty awesome. So we'll pick one of these animated ones. We'll we'll go with animated deal. Um, actually, I really like the rage. We'll go with that one. Um, and it's not going to animate in this menu, but we know what it is. It's animated rage. Uh, it doesn't need to animate. It just means like this menu would have to refresh every time we wanted that to update. We don't really need to do that. Uh, so for effects, this is one of the newer things we've added. Uh, Two Modes Pro uh, came out 1.8. Um, so with this, we can do lightning, and that's obviously toggle on or off. Uh, in a future update, I'm going to make it so your cursor doesn't reset every time. Um, that should be a simple thing to do. Uh, just a quick little bug that I created. Uh, so for health, this is how much we want their health to change by. So we'll say, we'll say 10. We'll give them, we'll give them like half their health back. Uh, potion. So this has to be one of like the the correct Minecraft potions. So if you do that, it's going to say type the potion or type cancel to stop uh, and cancel works with all of these so if you entered into like hologram you're like no nah, I don't really want to do that you just type cancel and it'll get you out uh, so for for this we'll do uh, do speed uh, and then go back in also when you're done putting in the potion next time I update or you know next time I release a, a quick little bug update it's gonna take you back to the effects menu not back to this menu that was just a small little error that I made. Uh, potion strength, we'll do six. So it'll give you speed, six. Uh, give you health, uh, 10 health. We'll do hunger next, we'll do uh, three hunger. Uh, and then for the command, uh, it uses the player uh, thing again. So player, uh, we'll do give player bow 30. We can give him 30 bows. And that's that there. Uh, so for item splash, uh, we're gonna turn glowing and enchanted on. And again, I'm gonna make it so your cursor stays up there, uh, like it does with this. You can just spam click this over and over again. Uh, I want to be able to do the same here, but it obviously resets there. So uh, for the splash style, we have circle, trail, and rain. We're just gonna go circle. Um, and again, this takes you back to the wrong menu, so I'm gonna have it not do that. Uh, and then we'll do glowstone because I like glowstone. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do bow. Why not? Let's just make everything a bow. Uh, and it doesn't need data for that. And then the tagline. So this is what's going to be the uh, the lore basically for the item when it's in the emotes menu. So uh, take a bow not take a bow but it's gonna it's gonna spell the same way uh, and that's it that's we're done that's it hit create take you back it'll like reset everything uh, so you can just start over again and you'll notice with permission it uses a moat and like, as a placeholder so as soon as we change that those change I don't know if I've already mentioned that or not uh, but now we go into self emote and there it is take a bow and look at that also it panned out really far because of the speed we just got suddenly PM. Let's look at that again. So we've got our bows that are enchanted and glowing. We've got the animated face. You know, everything is there. Um, oh, the number of you entered 30 is too big. It must be at most one. So obviously that's not going to work. That's it. Still ran the command. It's just it doesn't want to do it. But that's a server side thing, not a plugin thing. But anyways, uh, that's it for for that. Um, I will show you. Uh, the uh, edit so we'll take a bow we'll, we'll change which we'll go in and we'll, wrong one we'll go in and we'll fix that command so we'll do give player bow and we'll just do we'll just, it'll just be a one bow uh, and then so that's updated there and we'll hit save create is just save um, so that's edit if we go back in here take a bow it'll give us a bow Okay, and then uh, we're gonna create a dummy one here. So uh, delete me, and then so that'll be that. It updates to there and there. Nothing to worry about there. Hit create. Uh, everything resets again. Go into delete. We're like no, let's get rid of that. Let's delete it. And we delete it, and it's gone. Just like that. Just like that. Uh, one thing I do want to mention: uh, em or slash em bow bow won't work right away. Uh, simply because uh, 
the commands are registered when the server starts. So you just need to restart your server. I'm just going to reload. Please don't do that on an actual live server. If you're just testing things and playing around with things, go for it. But on a real live server, don't don't do that. That's bad. So just you know, don't. If we do slash em bound now, it'll work. Jeez, it works. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's everything I wanted to show you guys from from 2.0 update. There's a couple of bug fixes, uh, such as uh, when the item splash happened, you would find uh, some of them on paper spigot. I don't know if it was happening on craft bucket or bucket. But on paper spigot, you'd see the name of the item, uh, which is a random UUID to make it not uh, not not show up, basically. Um, so uh, to to fix that, I put it put the UUID in the lore because I don't want it to uh, I don't want it to get picked up. So I have a special key inside of it, but I also don't want them to stack with each other, which is the thing that happens on it. Definitely spigot. If it's the same item with the same name. Uh, with the same name and lore they'll stack with each other uh, on the ground and that looks stupid so uh, all of them have a, a UUID in their lore now so they won't stack uh, they have the key so they won't be picked up and that's both by entities and by hoppers so you know players can't pick it up zombies can't pick it up um, I don't know if anything else can pick up items but those two can't nothing can pick it up basically is what I'm trying to say here so you're never gonna have a bunch of blocks to show up somewhere, which is important. But uh, other than that, that's everything. Uh, I will be doing uh, an update very soon uh, with uh, Halloween. Uh, I remember back in 2016, uh, a week after Halloween, I posted an update called Late Ween, where I uh, I did the the Halloween update, but it was late, so I called it Late Ween, uh, and it wasn't funny. Um, and I'd been promising it and it was late so this time I'm gonna be posting it hopefully within the next two weeks I don't know exactly what it's gonna include uh, some more heads possibly a particle effect possibly an item splash effect but I'm not sure yet uh, after that I'll be working on the 1.13 update which is gonna be a big undertaking uh, I'll be doing bug fixes and stuff during that I'll be working on them on separate branches uh, so I can just put out an update. Um, I could have done that with this one as well, but I didn't want to post an update and then, or like I post an update to fix something and then immediately break it again uh, with the new update. So uh, I held off until until today. But uh, yeah, if you guys do have some bugs, because I'm releasing the beta today, uh, today being August 29th. Uh, so I'm releasing the beta today. It's going to have some issues. Don't use it on a live server unless you're confident in it. Um, the permissions are working for everything, theoretically. I tested them out on my, my test server here and everything was fine. Uh, but please test it out before you put it on a live server. Uh, I'm going to have it in beta mode for a little bit until I get all these bugs squashed. So it'll probably still be in beta by the time, uh, by the, time the Halloween update comes out. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, but of course, if you do find any bugs, uh, let, let me know just by sending me a message on Spigot or uh, posting in the d discussion. Preferably send me a PM though, uh, and send me like a paste bin of, of the error message, or pictures of whatever's going on, that kind of thing. Just send me some information to, to work with. And I get notifications on my phone when I get sent a, a message on Spigot. I don't get notifications when you post in the discussion thread. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, Thank you guys so much for waiting so long for this update. I had to cut myself off there. I was rambling for a while. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, if you liked the plugin, leave a like. If you uh, do want it for free, leave a comment. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a feature, you can leave a comment or you can you know, send me a PM on Spigot, that kind of thing. Uh, but just let me know, you know, reach out. Uh, hit subscribe if you want updates of these videos or if you want to see uh, when I release uh, bucket plugin or spigot plugin tutorial videos, which are coming quote unquote soon. Uh, we'll see. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, peace out.